Saturday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Hope you're having a God bless Saturday. I'm having a good day, and then I'm having a little bit of a sad day today. Um, but I've, I'm going to be preparing a, I'm going to call it impromptu meal. Uh, Y'all know usually I don't cook on Saturday, but this uh, meal I'm preparing is for family members uh, that pass. You know, it's a traditional thing in African American history or in African American's life when there's a bereavement, you know, we all get together and we do food and we gather around and reminisce about our uh, loved one who has passed away. And that, that brings me, of course, to make good memories. And this particular uh, family member, not only was she a family member, she was a good friend that I loved and enjoyed. And she was such a talented, smart woman that contributed so much to African-American history for African-American uh, dance for African dance. She she traveled the world. She and her, her daughter, which is my grandson's mother and their and his uncle. So it, it, it just we just want to pay homage to Miss Ann Hurry. She passed away. So uh, I'm I'm preparing this meal today in honor of my dear friend and family member Ann. So what I'm gonna do is some um, jerk chicken. I'm trying to keep it Keep it in the middle of the road, y'all. So I'm going to do some jerk chicken. You know, what I, I like chicken anyway. So what I always do, and for, <clears throat> for most family and friends, is go ahead and prepare a good old hot meal. There ain't nothing like a good old hot meal. That's why I love cooking so much, because it brings such comfort in this kind of meat. So hopefully this meal will comfort the family. Um... So I'm not going to say a whole lot about that. So we just want to just suffice to say. So this is for dear Anne, my girlfriend, my family member, and my friend. So. Okay, so what I'm doing with this chicken, I'm going to first just sort of uh, sear it and seal it in. And um, what I've got is uh, skin thighs and drumsticks is what I'm cooking. And, of course, you know, I've seasoned them with my complete seasoning onion powder, garlic powder, some poultry seasoning, and some jerk seasoning. All of that. So I'm just, you know, just listing off these things as I'm going through. Because this is sort of one of those, go ahead and get it done so I can get it over there to them. Um, I got the kids here today. Kylie is visiting. So that's a bright spot, uh, even though I'm sad about And it's a bright spot. You see how God will, he will, he will allow you to go through some bereavement, so then he'll put a bright spot in your life to lift that um, that grief, that burden. And I'm just letting y'all, like I asked y'all the other day, just please keep my family lifted up. We are going through a time of grief. Uh, the Word of God said we can make it do it for a night, but joy comes in the morning, and we're searching and looking for that joy. And I believe we can find that joy in knowing that we had great memories with Anne, and that. Uh, and the, those of us who are here, we can celebrate here. So this is just one of the things I'm doing. Food, y'all know me. I love to fix food, so that's what I'm doing uh, here today. Also, some uh, on a brighter note, uh, I share with you all that my grandson Kareem. Well, he's not here now. Otherwise, I would show y'all his face. But y'all have seen Kareem many times uh, on here and at Sunday dinners. Kareem was taking a uh, real estate class. He decided he wanted to go into real estate. He's 23 years old, and he um, he's done quite well. As a matter of fact, we went to Raleigh today. He took his test. He passed with flying colors, so he is on his way. So you all keep him in prayer that uh, when he gets his license, he still got a test for his license, but he passed the course test today, which was a major milestone because we have to travel about an hour away for him to do that. So anyway, he passed it today. He's excited. I'm excited. I'm, I think I'm celebrating more than he is uh, on the way to just the tour. He said, Grandma, just me and you, let's just celebrate. I said, yeah, but you know everybody else going to have to celebrate right along with me. Now, you know me because I'm, I'm excited. I'm proud. And uh, I know he's excited. You know, he's sort of low-key. But anyway, my uh, he's, he's Tansy's youngest son. So 
my grandchild passed that test. And I mean, I'm a happy, happy grandmother on this day for him. But my heart is heavy because for my family member and, and my friend and as well. So I thank God, you know, how he can how he can make it all right. You know what I'm saying? He can make it all right. Because I was real, real heavy at one point in the right spot in today. And then Kylie's mom brought her, and she's going to stay with me for about a week. So I'm excited about that. So we hadn't seen, I hadn't seen Kylie since, uh, let's see, Thanksgiving. Because after Thanksgiving, she went home, and she came here for Christmas, but I had the virus, so I could not see her then. So I'm excited. Excited to see my little cream puff. She's over there now. She said she's cold, huh? She's wrapped up in a, uh, my Lakers blanket over at the table. And y'all know she eating. So anyway, I'm having a, a wonderful day in spite of. And I'm also uh, still reminiscing for my family members. So anywho, y'all, we're going to have this meal cooked up here. In probably about a good hour, hour and 15 minutes it takes. Uh, once I get the... Um, chicken seared in the pan then I'll be taking it out I'll saute my peppers and onions and I'll put some celery in there and uh, I'll put a bit of rice down and I'll put that meat over put that chicken over that rice so it'll be uh, jerk chicken over rice and then I'm going to stir fry some cabbage cabbage goes well with this meal so I think this will be a nice hearty meal for them to eat either later on or tomorrow whenever they choose to do so so I will be right back shortly. I got to get some other things going on, and we'll be right back. Okay, I got my second pan of chicken in. Got the first one out. As you can see, this you just want to brown it up about just like that, and make sure it's seared in real good. So as soon as we get this one flipped over, we're gonna be putting this baby in the oven. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, got all the chicken out now. And I'm going to go ahead and put my veggies in and start sauteing them. Get that goodie off the bottom there right now. I'm going to come back and use that later. We don't throw that out. Mm -mm. No ma'am, no sir. Okay. Those are goodies. Put them right there. Okay. So I've got bell pepper, which is green pepper, red pepper, celery, and onion. And I'm just going to scatter them all around in there and let them, just let them wilt just a little bit, just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Maybe I need a little bit more oil. A bit more olive oil for them to use it. This is a large green pepper, six of those multicolored peppers, and one large onion, and about three stalks of celery, three nice stalks of celery. Okay. Toss it a little bit. <clears throat> I really think I need a bigger pan. I need I, I try to use a foil pan because I know I'm, I'm going to leave them. So hold on, I need to find me a bigger pan, y'all. Okay, y'all, I am just about done um, tossing these veggies. I lightly season them with a little bit more of uh, jerk season because that jerk season is hot. And I don't like to make it too hot because I don't know, I'm not sure about any real hot food. And it's, you know, um, jerk is hot. So what I'm going to do is just simply put these veggies right in on top of the chicken and I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 for about an hour and it should be done and I'll take it out, place my rice in the pan and then lay the chicken on top of the rice. Okay? Y'all get me. Y'all know what I'm trying to do. Okay? So, let me get this all done and I'll be right back. There we go. video of it. Pour all of that beauty on top of there and get me a nice piece of foil. 
put on top of that pan. And like I said, I'm going to bake it for about a good hour and a half. This should be done because it cooked maybe about 10, 15 minutes already. So, in the browning process. Y'all know how to clean that mess up. Okay. So let's get this a going. What I want to do here is I want to get all my... Uh, Get all my onions and stuff going down through there. So when this cooks, all that flavor and all that, all those veggies will be cooked in real, real good. And we're gonna have what's something going on here, y'all. Okay, so. If you got heavy duty foil, use the heavy duty foil on it. If you want to fill it just as tight as you can get it, so it'll uh, cook. So these pans, these aluminum pans, they're not my usual foil pans that I normally buy from Sam Club. I bought these from the regular store, and I think they're just not quite as good. So anyway, that pan of chicken is ready to go in the oven, and we're going to bake it, and then when it comes out, we'll finish it off so hold on for me okay y'all i'm back it's time to get these uh stir fried cabbage going i got that pan piping hot so what i'm going to do and i've got about a fourth of a cup of um cooking oil not cooking oil but olive oil so i'm just going to put a little maggie in throw that cabbage in i'm going to do half and half and start seasoning them and then I put the other half right on top. So, as I was saying before, cabbage is a really great side dish with a jerk chicken. Or, cabbage is a good side dish with anything, but especially with this jerk chicken. I'm telling you, it's really, really good. Okay, so keep that heat nice and hot because I don't want them boiled, I don't want them steamed, I want them fried. So, we're going to put some uh, tablespoon of complete seasoning on there. Just a little bit of my everything, but the kitchen cabinet on there. And we're going to wave that jerk seasoning over. Okay? And that's where we're going to do that. Now I'm probably going to put a little bit more oil in there. I got some onion powder floating around here somewhere. But I think I want to put, um, go ahead, put a little bit more oil in here. And I should say, keep that skillet. As hot as you can get it. I'm going to let it fire back up again before. There's a big piece there. But anyway, I've got, in here I've got uh, one medium cabbage. Just sliced it up. Uh, three of those multicolored peppers and a half of a large green pepper. Okay? Now. I'm going to go ahead and drop some more cabbage on top of there. I think I'm going to do three installations, I believe, too, now. Three installations. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. And we just start back over with the seasoning, the garlic powder. And the complete seasoning. I got this thing here that says slap your mama. Yeah. Uh, I got real tickled when I saw that. And I've heard that phrase before. I thought now, anybody that slapped their mama, even joking. That's a brave soul, because I can imagine me trying to slap my And my mom was a small, gentle person. I don't see what it tastes like. It was real salty. Real loose. Really, really, real salty. I don't think I can bother it. That is salty and it's hot. Wow. Whew. I'm going to leave that alone because it has a lot of salt in it. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep going with my my regular season. 
Okay. And the raw lemon tree. I need my onion powder in there. But one thing about it, stir fried cabbage is delicious and it's very simple to make. That's the good thing about it. It's real simple to make. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and continue letting this fry. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to it and go ahead and put in the rest of my uh, cabbage. And this will be gone here in about 15 minutes. If you don't wanna let them cook till they get mushy just until everything cooks down enough to get all the season cooked in. Okay? So we're gonna put another cup of tablespoons of oil in there. Just because I know it needs it. Okay. Stir those up really, really good. This medium cabbage makes a lot. I still got another installation in there here. Yeah. That's it. It is also a pretty dish. I like y'all know I like pretty food too when I can get it pretty. Some food just, you know, don't is not as pretty as other. But this to me is a pretty dish. Go ahead and drizzle my little garlic powder on there. My onion powder. And I'm gonna put a little bit more complete. Now this is my sesame oil. I love sesame oil. But you just drizzle it just enough to give it a hint. Doesn't take a lot. A little dab will do you. Remember that brill cream? A little dab will do you. That's what it is with the uh, sesame oil. You don't need a lot. Sesame oil has a very distinct, strong flavor. And you don't want to take it over. Now, I can eat a lot of sesame oil in my food because I love the taste of it. But you don't need to do that when you're cooking. Okay? Mmm. My other teaspoon. Put two tablespoons of complete seasoning all together in here. And just wave it. Drunk season one more time over there. And I believe we got it going on. Just going to go ahead and get everything stirred up here real good. Mm -mm -mm. You know, um, that little bit of jerk seasoning that I put, it gives off that, um, you know, ginger is in uh, Jamaican juice and in that seasoning. And it smells so good coming off those cabbage. And to top these cabbage off, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning. Just a little bit. Well, we have to have a little secret weapon floating around here somewhere. Yeah, it's still frying. I, like I said, I don't want these steam or boiling. I want them fried. I want this cabbage fried. Which is why I'm keeping that heat all the way up as high as I can get it. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, Sprinkle me a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning and uh, a little bit of brown sugar, and we're gonna be done. About a teaspoon of brown sugar. That'll do it. We just need a few sprinkles of this lemon. Is it coming out? Yeah, there you go. Okay. And I'm gonna grab me about a teaspoon of sugar, and it's gonna be done. I'll put the sugar on for it at the end because it'll. It'll make a little juice in there if I put it in right now. So hang on, and I will return in a few seconds. Okay, y'all, the cabbage is ready. I'm going to go ahead and just take it out of the pan. Not because I want it fried. See, there's no, I don't want any juice because you know it's going to give off some juice as it sits for a while. So there we are. Good old fried cabbage. That's where your skillet's supposed to look when you take it out. You know you got fried cabbage. Otherwise, if you don't keep that heat up, those cabbage will put off that juice and be real wet and soggy. So, we got us a nice pan of fried cabbage going on, y'all. Okay, so, there we go. So, what I'm going to do for right now, I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of foil over top of it and move it off that burner. I don't want to cook anymore. So maybe 15, 20 minutes it took because the amount of cabbage that I had. Okay. So I'm going to garnish it just a tiny little bit. And y'all know our favorite garnish. What else? Paparica. It's 
Okay. How's that? I'm just going to place a piece of foil on top of there. And then we'll just wait on the chicken to get done. And then I can make my delivery, y'all. Okay, y'all. The chicken is out. It's ready. It's piping hot. It's wonderful. It's delicious. It smells so good. So, what I've decided I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the rice in that pan there. And I'm going to lay the chicken on top of it. So, just hold on a minute. And let's just get this dish. We're finishing off here. And it did take approximately hour and a half. We'll say hour and a half to do this meal. So like I said, the chicken did have to cook an hour and 20 minutes. So I've already... This is about, this is six to eight servings. Yeah, six to eight servings. And then um, cabbage, the same thing. And this will either be a meal for the family or it will be uh, something, you know, one meal for the family or it will be a meal that uh, they can add to something that they've already got prepared. Okay, those, these are five. I'm going to separate this meat and put the thighs on one end. Uh, that is the way. See how the juice will just drizzle down? It'll just automatically drizzle down. And it's good. Uh, there we go. Lord have mercy. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I get another pie, I thought I had more pies in there than that. I guess I didn't. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Because I thought that was a leg. So we just need to put some more chicken. We're going to load this chicken up on here. more chicken than I realized I had. Yeah. That's enough for uh, gravy on that last. Okay. okay. There it is, y'all. All right, there. Got that chicken. Now the rice is under the chicken. I'm just going to cover it and let it cool down and then I'm going to be delivering it in a few minutes so hold on y'all now the meal is ready the cabbage is already done over here on this end the uh, Jamaican jerk chicken with rice is ready lord is smelling good y'all so I'm getting ready to make this delivery thank y'all for hanging out with me while I was cooking thank you for your prayers and your well wishes because I could feel you all the way over here in North Carolina so until I cook again, y'all. I'm getting ready to get out of this kitchen because y'all know I've got to be right back at it again tomorrow for Sunday dinner because the flavor train is still rolling, y'all. So thanks again. And remember to keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray for one another. Do something good for somebody. A uh, phone call, a text, or walk to the fence and wave at the neighbor. It'll work any kind of way you do it. People always feel good when you make them feel good by just a, a word or a gesture. So I love you all so, 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 so much. And thank y'all. But when you all see me out and about for speaking, stopping, I love to talk, and I might forget names, but I never forget a face. So love you. 
Thank you, and until tomorrow now, toodaloo.